The average 30-year-old man makes $52,000 per year, has $20,000 in savings, and his waist size is over 40 inches. And that's after 12 years in the marketplace. Because if you think about it, we become independent at age 18, age 30 is 12 years later. And during that time, the only thing he's really grown is his waist size. And now that we're in February, for those of y'all who actually go to the gym, you've seen it happen with your own eyes. Over 90% of the guys who set their New Year's goal to finally be consistent in the gym, they've already fallen off. But not you, right? You're gonna rise above these average statistics. Okay, well, let's take a look at where you're gonna end up in the next six months if you're truly committed to changing and backing that up, or if you're just gonna think about it and dream about it, where is that gonna lead you? All right, so number one, compound growth. So question for you, do you know what is the most proven way to grow your money and actually become wealthy? Think about it for a second. You've probably heard of this before. It's called compound interest. Basically how this works is you invest a small but consistent amount. So let's say $30 every single day. That would be $900 per month. If you put that in an index fund, it's gonna grow on average of 8% per year. So after five years, you will have invested $54,000. This is a great way to save money. And that's already gonna have generated 12,000 in gain. But now if we look at doing this for 30 years, you will have invested $324,000 which seems like a lot, but that will have generated over a million dollars in additional gains by just investing $30 a day. Now, the crazy thing is that investing into yourself, it works exactly the same way. So maybe your starting point right now is 60K per year salary, your body's a bit skinny fat, it's not great, you don't have a girlfriend, but you put your head down and you get to work. Maybe this year you're able to gain 10 pounds of muscle, lose 10 pounds of fat, you work up to getting 75K a year in salary. And maybe you don't have a girlfriend yet, but you're starting to get like one or two dates per year. That, that's realistic growth. Well, guess what? Your starting point next year is that much higher. You've grown your income by 25%. You've grown the other parts of your life as well. And that's your new fucking starting point. And then next year, you keep fucking working. Maybe you don't improve your body anymore. You just maintain it. But maybe you're able to meet an amazing girlfriend who's supporting you on your journey. You're able to work up from 75K to 90K a year in salary. Again, this is very realistic growth. And then two years from now, your new starting point has gotten even fucking higher. The growth is starting to compound. Y'all saw me back in Boston getting started. I was trying to do this YouTube thing in isolation. And then I moved down to Texas. And guess what? I met the right fucking people. I met other people making YouTube videos who also had their own businesses. And my growth 10 x in a matter of one or two years. I started making over a million per year because I started Edge Lifestyle, the Beastly app. My YouTube channel shot up to over 1 million subscribers. And even though it might have seemed like an overnight success, the previous five years I'd been, you know, 5% growth, 10% growth, 10% growth. And I got myself to this starting point where I created these opportunities for myself. Now, the scary thing is that this can also happen in the opposite direction. You can also experience a negative compound growth. And that's what happens to most guys. Maybe they have that same 60K per year starting salary and they work their ass off the first year, get up to 75K, but then they just coast the next three years and they let their body go. And then they go through a bad breakup and then they start getting lost in these same shitty habits they know they shouldn't be doing. And each year their starting point is getting worse and worse and worse. The growth is compounding in the wrong direction. And they're never able to back back because now now they have all these built-in negative mindsets and excuses that hold them back. The point is, you need to be real and understand how this works. You're not gonna get ahead of 95% of guys this year and make a million per year and be dating the hottest girl in the world. That's not how it fucking works. No, you do it by pounding away each year, experiencing small but consistent 10 to 20% growth per year to create that breakthrough opportunity for yourself. And that is why we created Beast Nation, to give you an advantage over other men and make it easy for you to finally get to that next level. One call, one module, and I don't even have the words to express the level of gratitude for this community. I've tried many other coaching programs before and they were I paid way more money and they, they weren't as valuable. The Beast Nation has exceeded my expectations tremendously. For example, the other day I was at the gym and there's this, my crush was there. I wanted to talk to her. I texted one of my buddies in the chat. I was like, hey bro, I'm a little nervous. Beast Nation is so supportive. He jumped on a call with me at the gym, pumped me up, went over, talked to her, and I got her number. It's so powerful to meet other guys in the same situation 
as I'm going through. So Beast Nation essentially gives you all of the different tools that you need. Step-by-step -step modules to help you earn an extra 5K per month, create an unstoppable dating funnel, grow a viral YouTube channel like I did, weekly live coaching calls with myself, and normally this starts at 3K minimum just to have this type of access. And above all else, you join a tribe of like-minded men focused on growing together. And this makes you unstoppable because now the little setbacks, the rejections, the breakups, the bad days, of course, they still hurt, they still suck, but no longer will they slow you down. Your new brothers and myself will be there to pick you up so you can keep growing. And in case you missed launch last month, over a thousand guys have already joined up from across the globe and now is the perfect time to hop in because only until Friday, you can join and get your first week for only one dollar, which means you can hop in, see what it's all about, try everything out, come on one of the live calls with me, and make sure that it's right for you. If you're serious about leveling up, click that first link in description and join us in Beast Nation. Number two, your virtual life. So a shocking statistic I just found out is that daily screen time in young adults is up 60 to 80% versus pre-pandemic levels. With those born after 1996 watching an average of 7.2 hours of Netflix, TikTok, and YouTube every single day, and even for those guys like me who were born after 1996, it, it, it still doesn't look great. And it honestly makes me feel sad and depressed just thinking about how far our society has already fallen into being slaves to technology. And you know the feeling as well as I do when you look down at your phone, you're death scrolling for 30 minutes, then you look up and realize it. And all of a sudden there's this feeling of like shame, emptiness, and just isolation. But obviously there are benefits to it and it is an integral part of our working and communicating and learning and it's not going anywhere. So what we do when we're inside of the virtual world like it fucking matters a lot. And because of that, I'd recommend you implement these three instant fixes right now. Number one, delete TikTok. TikTok is literally just all of the bad parts of Instagram put into a single app. The only exception here is if you need to use it for business, but even then delete the app on your phone and just upload the business you know, content you have to upload through your laptop so you don't fall into the death scroll. Number two, do a mass cleansing of your Instagram account. Any girls you're following just because they're attractive, unfollow them. You don't need that added lust. Any shitty friends you're still following just because, unfollow them. Any random accounts you follow to post stupid shit, unfollow them. Only follow true friends and accounts that actually motivate you. And number three, do a weekly audit of your screen time. So just go into your screen time, and you can click on see all apps and website activity. Make sure you're on the, the week tab and then you can see where you're spending most of your time. I could clearly cut down my IG time. Some of that is for business, but a lot of that is death scrolling. WhatsApp, that's not bad. That's just uh, business communication. But once you look at this, you can't lie to yourself. You know where you need to cut down. And really who you're connected to, that's what matters the most. So think for a second, who do I spend the most time messaging? These people are gonna be some of your biggest primary influences in your life. And they're gonna play a big role in dictating how you feel, what thoughts you're thinking, and ultimately what actions you take and where you get in life. Are you connected to other guys who are growing and they're challenging you to be better? They make you aim your sights higher in life, like the tribe of men we have inside of Beast Nation? Or are you maybe connected to guys who are a bit behind you in life, they're not focused on growing, and maybe subconsciously they're influencing you to not work as hard and to fall back into shitty habits that you know you shouldn't be doing? Like these are probably the primary influences on your life. Make sure that you are deliberately selecting them. Number three, fail safe accountability. So question for you, what do you do right now to hold yourself accountable? Think about that for a second. What measures do you have in place to make sure you stay on pace with the things you wanna do? Because without these things in place, shit will happen in your life and you will lose sight of the actions you need to take to reach your goals. You know, maybe right now you're working hard to get a six pack before summer and find an awesome girlfriend, but then maybe next week you get a bit sick and then your boss at work is riding you. You have to stay a little late one day and then you tell yourself, you know what, this week's tough. I'm not gonna train this week, then I'm gonna get back to it next week. But then maybe you end up taking two weeks off because you fall out of the routine. And then maybe a girl you're talking to ghosts you. And then you tell yourself this weak ass excuse that I can't even worry about my day in life right now. I just need to make sure everything else is in line. The fact is that self-sabotage will literally always happen. It is part of the human psyche. It will always happen if you do not have fail safe measures in place. So again, same question. What are you doing right now to hold yourself accountable? 
For me, I like to stack different measures of accountability on top of each other, so it's impossible to fuck up. So every day I have a to-do list that I look at to make sure I don't forget something. I also do a weekly review each week to look back and say, hey, you know, what went well? What could I improve on to make sure I'm not mindlessly repeating dumb shit? If there's a challenging project I'm working on for one of my businesses, I'll hire a business consultant so I have to stay accountable to them. I can't just pay them and show up and not do the work I told them I was gonna do. I'm also communicating with my like-minded friends almost every day, and I know that if I fall off and turn into a piece of shit, they're not gonna accept that. Not to mention the tribe I've built on YouTube. In the Thursday vlogs, I tell you guys about the different things I'm working on and the different challenges I'm facing, and knowing that you guys know about that shit, that's another layer of accountability. I'm not just gonna give up on something. That was set a terrible example. And this is why it's literally impossible for me to take a week off. Y'all know I've uploaded two videos per week every single week for the past seven years. It's not because I have some crazy superpower. No, it's because I have all these different layers of accountability. And if I fuck up, I'm gonna feel simultaneously ashamed. Like I let other people down, like I'm setting a bad example. It's too many different, I'm gonna be upset with myself. It just can't happen. So one more time, what are you doing right now to hold yourself accountable? And by the way, not to keep mentioning this, but Beast Nation was designed to give you all of these forms of accountability in one single place. You're accountable to myself on the weekly coaching calls. You're accountable to your brothers in the Discord community. And you're also accountable to yourself because in the Beast Nation HQ, there's a weekly status report that you must complete every single week. And final reminder, you can get your first week for just $1 if you click that first thing in description, but only until Friday. Now, if you wanna make sure you're doing everything in your power to get to the next level this year, you need to watch this video next. It is about 13 bad habits that men should break in 2024. Click there to watch that now, and I will talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.